right guys, I just got my competition suit and I'm so excited. I can't wait to go home and get my legit vlogging camera. I'm just doing it with my phone. But here's the suit. Yeah, always writes me a personalized note. It says, thank you so much for making my bikinis look amazing. Good luck in Alaska, gorgeous. Have fun and travel safe. Oh, you're the sweetest, Lydia. Ta-da! Oh my stars. Oh my gosh. So this is a Elsa inspired suit. I told her to surprise me, make something that was like Elsa color. So this is my first time actually seeing it. Lydia's suits are incredible. Oh, I my mean, nails done. <laughs> so excited. What's up guys? It is peak week and it is Monday. So it's the worst one because I'm supposed to be doing lower carbs. So I had my breakfast, which was egg whites and oatmeal. Um, that's gonna be my only main carbs for the day. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday are like very low carbs, minimal carbs, and then Thursday, Friday, and Saturday are very, very high carbs. So these low carb days are gonna be fun. But I got a box in from Sweet Sweat, so they hooked it up. And perfect timing because it's peak week, so. This is the box they sent two of the waist trimmers. Actually, another waist trimmer belt as well. The waist trimmers are not like the corsets. So the corsets are very tight around the body and they are kind of uncomfortable to work out in. I think I did a video a while ago of me trying to work out in one. It was awful and I was like, oh, I'm never gonna do this again. You wear these like while you're working out and it causes your midsection to sweat more so you're gonna have less bloating and get rid of water weight that holds in your stomach area. And also when you sweat, you're actually sweating out toxins. So Sweet Sweat hooked it up on the clothing. This is what they sent me. It's a shirt, jacket, some shorts, a top, capris, pants. Nero, get off of the clothes. Okay, and then what else they sent me was the actual cream. Um, let's see, they sent me Sweet Sweat with coconut. And the unscented, if you don't like the smell of coconut more of those, lots of it, and the actual sweat sticks. And these are my favorite, actually, because you just roll it on your body. So I'm definitely gonna be using that every single day this week so I can get my midsection as small and tiny and cute as possible for Saturday, which is the show day. I'm excited. Okay, so first workout down for peak week. Um, I wasn't able to record it uh, just because for peak week you wanna do like high intensity circuits, like you get minimal breaks, so I think it's like a 15 second break, if that, in between sets, because you want to deplete all the glycogen from your body. So that's what I did. And right now I just smothered myself with sweet sweat. I'm gonna go sit in the sauna for about 20 minutes, try to do some posing in there, maybe some ab exercises, and then I'm gonna go buy some fish. <laughs> all right, confession, I could only stand like 10 minutes in the sauna. I was dying. I was sweating all over the place because of sweet sweat. So I feel like I sweat more because of the sweet sweat so I could leave early. <laughs> I'm gonna try to go every single day this week. Right now I'm at HEB picking up three pounds of white fish. It's not my favorite thing to eat, but it's lean and it makes you look good on stage. So I'm gonna force myself to eat it. All right, got all, picked up all the food at HEB. I got three pounds of tilapia. Mm. And I got a ton of asparagus. I got tons of frozen broccoli. Other ones, so we'll go back and I will eat them. My chocolates for show day. A ton of sweet potatoes for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And a ton of rice cakes for show day too. I'm gonna try to eat like 200 plus grams of carbs that day. Push out the muscles. Mm, yeah, so now Josh is making me dinner. Actually, he's making all the tilapia. What are you gonna season it with? And no salt, because I can't have sodium anymore. Unsalted tilapia, mmm. Don't make that face. Oh, mm. <laughs> All right, we have tilapia, asparagus, and that's what I'm eating tonight, mmm. I don't want it, I don't want it! Doesn't it look so appetizing? <laughs> oh, I know I have a coffee addiction. So I'm really trying to start drinking more green tea. 
but it sucks. Maybe if I put creamer in it, it'll taste like coffee. It's not coffee. It's not coffee. I'm not drinking it. How to get through peak week? You get a donut floaty. Go swimming. Pretend it's real. It's fun. Ready? What's up guys? Today is the last day for low carb, thank the lord. But I will be traveling to Alaska today, so I leave this evening, so I'm gonna have like a 10 hours, nine hours in the air, flying time, so it's gonna take a little while to get to Alaska. So I'm gonna be traveling today, it is low carb day, and I'm PMSing day. It sucks, today is not gonna be fun. Gotta remember, it is so because I am PMSing, I always crave waffles and pancakes. Really good pancake recipe that I'm gonna show you guys how to make. It is completely low carb, almost as good as regular ones. I hate it when people make protein pancakes. They're like, oh, it's better than regular pancakes. No, they're not. There's nothing better than regular pancakes. So they're just so light and fluffy and amazing. But there are ones that you can make that are very similar, which are these ones. They're so bomb. I'm gonna show you guys how to make them. Five egg whites in a bowl, a little bit of yolk. Oops. I'm gonna be putting two scoops of the Quest protein. This is a multi purpose mix and it is specifically uh, for baking. So, um, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of vanilla extract. This is homemade vanilla extract. I use it for a ton of stuff. My sister actually made it for me for Christmas and I've gone through, I mean, already a lot in this jar. There's a fresh vanilla too that's in there. It's really good. And then the last ingredient is stevia. And the batter is finished. I also forgot there is a fifth ingredient that is optional. So I like to use sugar-free creamer, sugar-free vanilla. Just adds a little bit uh, more moisture to the pancakes. And I put like one tablespoon. It's really optional. You don't have to put it in there. All right. And this recipe actually makes eight pancakes but I'm making 16 so I'm gonna eat four for breakfast so on the flight to Alaska um, I'm gonna have my tilapia Ugh. but I'm gonna have these pancakes with me so I can kind of eat them when I'm hungry and still getting airplane food this is the toppings so I just pull up the gym I am so exhausted I'm like beyond exhausted I'm like can barely keep my eyes open Peak week takes it out on you, man. The whole amount of weeks that you do a prep is like totally fine. Like, yeah, you get tired sometimes, but peak week just takes it out on you. So I'm gonna be taking seven scoops of the female pro pump. Just kidding, not seven. Never take seven scoops of anything, it's just stupid. I take a half a scoop of this because it's pretty strong. So, how many servings are in here? 20 servings, so really this lasts me like months because I only take half a scoop. I don't take it every single time I work out. I take it like on leg day or when I'm exhausted day. So I guess pretty frequently. Dreaming about donuts for like four weeks now. Oh, I can't wait. And actually I have a really funny story that I want to share with you guys. I have five siblings for those of you that don't know. And when I was younger, I loved donuts. And my brother knew how much I loved donuts. Every week he would buy a dozen donuts and sell each one for one dollar. Each donut for one dollar. Only to me because he knew I would pay for it. And I never got an allowance. My parents never gave me any money. So I got twenty dollars at Christmas and ten dollars for my birthday. So I made like thirty dollars a year. I would literally spend all thirty dollars that I would make per year on donuts. Totally worth it. I ran out of money, I would ask him. I'd be like, let me clean your room, let me clean your car, let me do something in exchange for a donut. Like, I'll do anything for a donut. I just realized how fat I sound. I don't care. I would do it all over again. Hey guys, so I just got to the airport and I'm on route to Fairbanks, Alaska. Actually, North Pole, that's where my parents live. And that's where I grew up, but I'm all packed and ready. I got my backpack, my carry-on, and my food. So, what I am bringing with me, because I can have no airplane food. The show is in 
three days. So I have my little freezer pack I've showed you guys. It stays cold for eight hours. And I have those um, pancakes that are actually really good. And I have tilapia and broccoli. I'm really gonna try not to open this next to someone on the plane because I'll get some seriously dirty looks. I know someone opened it next to me on a plane and probably throw up on them. So I'm gonna eat this probably in Seattle. And then the cakes are just kind of for when I'm like starving and wanting a snack or something. And I was planning on, I was planning on bringing some BCAs on the plane, but I actually chucked the bag with the BCAs in it. So I'll probably, so that would have been such a great idea to just sip on BCAs on the plane instead of like a soda or whatever else. Helps curb cravings. And you can never have too many BCAAs. It's so good for you. But I will see you guys in on the plane, Seattle. Mm, we'll see. Hey, made it to Alaska and it is one o'clock in the morning. Look how bright it is. So the bright. sun doesn't go down. <laughs> 